Hello, everybody. How are you? Oh. Okay, sounds are working. I got uh, something uh, a, a great. Okay. Dazed and confused. Taking the box is cool. Back to life, baby. Death is life. Slavery is freedom. Look how cool I am. Back to life. Back to being dead again. Freedom is coming. But where are we going? Where are we going? Amazing. Here's the bells for you. Okay. Uh, I hope this time the music, it's... Uh, you can hear it. So I'll, this one, I, I'm gonna be quick because uh, I'm a slave here and I... Uh, what? How can I stop this thing? Okay. I'm a, I'm a slave here and, and I've been... Uh, you know, I have to work. So I have no time and this one, I guess it will be very, very, uh, very quick. Uh, the uh, the uh, last part will be... Uh, uh, there's a fly here. The last part will be a great section I, I uh, took out of uh, Bill Cooper. It talks about freedom, about uh, cowards, and uh, so let's start. Let's start here. Um, it's hard man, to do these things because it's it's so unbelievable what we're going through guys because it's unbelievable so masculinity is a killer you know all the attack on you know so basically guys uh, what I show here is uh, reptilians trying the the parasite as I call them sometimes uh, trying to tell since they want to, to to have this planet alone you know without us the, the, the sheeple they convince the morons to kill themselves and all you see here in these presentations of mine are ways that they do to convince the morons to kill themselves. Because, you know, when you are destroying the family or telling them to change sex and uh, everything, you know, you are trying to tell them, you know, to not reproduce anymore, guys. Okay? Maybe you can adopt uh, some kid of, of a reptilian, maybe, you know? So other demons will, uh, will live here, but... Uh, because most more important than the flesh is the spirit, guys. If the spirit of that uh, baby is a reptilian, you know, you know, some rich reptilian that does have the sperms, you know, uh, unlike the sheep that will be uh, uh, now nowadays doesn't have sperm anymore, you know, the right sperm count, you know, uh, you will, you know, pass, uh, you know. This uh, the, the 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 baby animals, you know. And uh, your 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 kind, you know, will not uh, multiply anymore. And so uh, I saw this, and I said, "Who wrote this shit? Let me go and uh, and find out who wrote such a wonderful piece, you know. And how come these people are promoting this uh, this thing, you know?" And so I went online and I, and I saw this shit here. This is the the horror that wrote it, that guys. So a, a, a mental patient, because uh, of course the the uh, parasite guys they promote everything that is destructive for us, and so they take morons that just a few years back they would be locked in hospitals. You know, you would see these people only in hospitals. Now they are free to to spew they they venom, they they they, they stupidity. So this is a dude. That has changed sex, guys. Look at this shit, guys. You cannot get an more anti-nature than this, guys. This is... You talk about hate speech, you know? What is this, guys? 
And of course, uh, being uh, this entity so destructive, of course, she has a great, you know, um, is being pushed, you know. And so she is a, a program, so she is a teacher of, of this shit, you know, in uh, university, whatever. A program leader of gender studies, areas of ex expertise, a critical theory. Critical. Critical theory. Critical. Who, who, is, who is critically thinking? Uh, political economy. Marx. Marx. Psychoanalytic theory. Cultural sociology. Work and organizations. Utopia. Dystopia. Video games. Popular culture. Trans. Queer politics. Through Marxist feminist perspective. Committee professional group services. Editorial Board of Transgender Studies, Quarterly, Duke University. Duke University, guys, so, again, think of, of, of them that are pushing all this as the reptilians, you know, the few of them, you know, that wants to be free without us, you know. And then what they do, they promote this kind of shit, you know. And so, here is her latest, one of, the, one of her books. She is called uh, Moron. Uh, Chara Kremin, whatever. Man made woman. It makes me vomit, guys. I, I, I just cannot. Here. Here's the mantle. I mean, guys. Guys, do I have to say anything, guys? Do I have to say anything? Do I have to say anything? May God help this dude there's nothing else to say being used right now by uh, the monsters guys this moron gets money and doesn't care no conscience 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 at all so I saw this uh, advertising in uh, Facebook the North Face uh, uh, you know, we we think you know that we should you know um, um, propose promote this. Uh. So again, guys, every time it's the same thing. Imagine North the North Face guys is a company, is a huge company, guys. That is owned by who? You you got it by the parasite guys. And what they want to do? They want to promote sterilization, guys. It's not that they care about these people, guys. These mentally ill people. Uh, so I saw this uh, this advertising in television actually today, and I couldn't believe my eyes. So th there was this new method of paying, you know, of course, cashless, uh, where. You know the, the reptilians uh, can see whatever move you make you know and uh, can tax you and everything you know but, but by seeing what you buy and everything I can see everything about you you know but look at the logo guys I couldn't believe it. it it's so in your face you know guys if you just turn your a little bit your your head you know 90 degrees I guess if you haven't un already understood what that, what that logo stands for, I don't know what to say. So Satan's pay, I mean, uh, Satis pay, like satisfaction. But satisfaction for who? And now uh, we can see pentagrams and the uh, lightning, you know, Lucifer. And uh, the horn here. And faceless eyes without fear. Eyes without face. I mean, this video should be done like this, guys. There's nothing else to say anymore. Look at this shit, man. And the funny thing, guys, is that 
uh, I saw here in Italy there, there is uh, apparently a, a restaurant, a pizzeria, uh, called Fahrenheit 451, and they are proud, you know, to to tell to the sheeple that uh, ah we accept this uh, new satispay. <laughs> I mean Fahrenheit 451. Uh, again, guys, uh, people would do anything for money, guys. Because if you know the movie, you know, it's a dystopian movie, you know. And so you can apparently, like, you know, just put your phone there in, in the... To the cashier there that takes the money. And it's... Uh, and it's easy also when you are with friends, with other brain dead. And you want to split the bill, you know. That you got from eating with them, you know, for dining with them. Because this is a big issue here in Italy, guys, you know. I remember people back then, you know, uh, someone, sometimes one of, of, of a friend would pay, but they knew more or less, you know, that the thing would turn, you know, someone is the other guy's turn, you know, but without, like, uh, having to, oh, no, no, it's your turn, it's like little kids, you know, like they do today. And so it's a big thing now that you, with this application now, will be, you, you tell the application to divide for you, and ah, everybody, you know, it takes money exactly uh, at the amount, you know, divided, you know. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Uh, this will, as I said, this is going to be quick. So th there is Euro, Euro 2020 uh, the soccer going on here in, in the dumb land, Italy. In Europe, everywhere here. So the the monsters uh, like soccer because it's like uh, unites has this spirit of uniting the sheeple guys, and through sh uh, soccer they they do this, they push propaganda on how to merge the sheeple you know, and so the the sheeple will stay quiet but by staying bunched up together all kinds of uh, cultures you know, like they are here and so they say equal game respect. This is FIFA, guys. It has nothing to do with soccer. It's just propaganda, guys. Everyone can enjoy football, no matter who you are, where you're from, where you're from, you know. So, so shut up and uh, and uh, they make sure, you know, that uh, uh, they put uh, a white uh, soccer player and a black soccer player, you know, with music there. He has no idea what he's doing there. He just knows that he gets money and oh, let me play this music man I, uh, okay then I, do you want to take do you want me to to put this t-shirt that says equal game who cares man uh, i'm a whore you know and, and listen look at just just vomiting guys it's, it's just hurtful all this and the logo i was uh, starting a bit with the logo uh there is this six element here of the six kind of sheep that they are merging you know but six, uh, which, you know, six, six, six is the number of a man, you know. And uh, you can see them have all different colors, but merged through this cup, you know. So uh, there's meaning there for for the logo itself, you know. The, it's all propaganda on uh, merging, you know, these uh, cultures and everything, erasing in reality all cultures by doing this uh, so uh, this one I just saw it in a magazine and, uh, and it was uh, fantastic this one so apparently in uh, Tennessee is a backwards uh, state Tennessee because it has become the n nation's number one discriminatory state it's time for action to reverse what has already happened and to keep it from spreading uh, the reptilians which oh someone is passing so the reptilians of uh, of this uh, records here carp records stands with uh, of course being the reptilian they stand for uh, uh, erasing humans so aka LGBTQIGBLABC community you know the dead community the sterilized community uh, we will not stop fighting until all human beings are treated equally. Oh man, you are you are not even letting me talk about it, you know. 
you, you put me in jail if I, if I if even mistake the you put the wrong pronoun on these morons so and look the the evil uh, governor bill lee what he has done he has passed you know an anti lgbtq adoption bill he has also passed an anti-trans student athlete athlete bill which you know would be fair you know to to, to not let you know a, a shrine which is a man compete with a woman <laughs> Uh, he has also, you know, uh, there's a way now for the sheep to opt out of being taught LGBT sex education. How dare he has done this? The bathroom bill 2.0, bathrooms signage for business, trans youth hormone ban, <laughs> transgender youth healthcare ban, this is pending, and diversity training opt out, LGBT in textbook ban, anti trans anti-trans uh, is English locker room bill same-sex marriage ban whoa pending <laughs> uh, so days the confusers I uh, showed you days mean unable to think or react properly the uh, song of Led Zeppelin that I used to like you know, when I was asleep was programming the sheep, you know. You sheep, you are days that confused. <laughs> We're almost there, guys, because I have to show you also the reptilians of Bank of Australia. That uh, yes, them too are for the, the killing. Uh, getting rid of the sheeple, dim diminishing the population, and uh, they put a moron here, a sheep, and they say the people who believe in gender equality are the people Australia needs. Australia, of course, you didn't mean Australia. <laughs> you meant Australia. And, uh, are you white? How dare you? Um, uh, it says here, as a white man, there are lots of inequalities you'll be protected from during your life. Like you, huh? Seek to expand your understanding of the world and the privilege that you have within it. And then, be a part of dismantling the system. How? What system? Maybe the system, you know... Uh, when they say, you know, be a part of dismantling the system, you know, be a, be a part of dismantling the past that we used to have, that they want to get rid of. Not that you will change the system in any kind of way to, for better for you, sheep. So here we have uh, another pearl that I just uh, hit me. Dr. Uh, Reptilian believes uh, talking to children about race has the power to change the world. And here is reptilian in question, this monster here. Uh, diversity consultant. Diversity consultant. <laughs> uh, and speaker and award winning scientist. <laughs> and academic. She is a freelance journalist for Forbes. She is also a whore, okay? Forbes, The Guardian, Huffington Post, etc. Okay, so guys, uh, enough bullshit. Uh, let me l close with... Um, uh, let me see if I have some the right image. No, he, this one is good. And I will leave you guys with uh, Bill Cooper, guys. Just three minutes, but it's, it's wonderful. That's why I want to include this. Even if you're a hardcore atheist or whatever you are, a Buddhist, I don't care. Listen to me carefully. In the Gospel of Mark, in chapter 5, a woman suffering from a plague touches the clothing of Jesus and is instantly healed. Jesus then asks, Who touched him? And although the woman becomes very fearful, she nonetheless confesses to Jesus that it was she who touched his clothes, to which Jesus replied, Be not afraid, only believe. Now the profundity of that command 
is beyond measure. It states specifically the cure for cowardice, and following that command, whether you're a Christian or not, will completely cure cowardice. You see, the key is belief. For it is only that which each and every single one of us personally, truly believes that determines precisely how each and every single one of us personally behaves. If you don't believe in anything, you have nothing to hold on to. You have no foundation. You have no guts. A man or a woman who firmly believes in something that they are ready and willing to die for at any given moment is invincible. Listen to me. If you're not a Christian, then read the doctrine of the faith you claim. You'll never get through this fight without your Creator. But with your Creator, you can't lose. You'll never get through this fight if you don't believe in anything. You will never survive. But if you believe in something strong enough that you're willing to die for it, you cannot lose. And remember, be not afraid, only believe. Remember I told you in a broadcast of this show years ago, I told you that if there was no concept of God on this earth, man would have to invent God whether he believed in God or not, he would have to invent God and then invent that belief and then make it happen. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, cowards have little, if any, faith. Their beliefs are virtually under the direct and total control of their masters, who as a result have become their owners by the coward's own consent. Learn to readily recognize whenever anyone attempts to infect you or anyone else with the disease known as cowardice and expose them for who and what they are and what they're doing and how they're doing it to the full light of day and for the whole world to see and watch the cockroaches, watch those vermin scatter from the light. You see, these vermin are nothing more than terrorists. You want to see the real terrorists? Well, these vermin are nothing more than terrorists. They prey on human weakness. If ye love wealth better than liberty, the tranquility of servitude better than the animating contest of freedom, go home from us in peace. We ask not your counsels or your arms. Crouch down and lick the hands which feed you. May your chains set lightly upon you, and may posterity forget that ye were our countrymen. <laughs> 